What is going on, my lovely people of the world? I am actually... I don't even want to play this now. I'm, ki I'm, I'm angry. Nate's angry. Here's why. So, it's been known for a long time. Damn, when did my shoes... I'm just looking down and I notice my shoes are mad dirty. Anyway, uh, that's not why I'm mad. <laughs> Blaze Blue Central Fiction. Available for pre-order now after a PlayStation Network update. And I got kind of concerned because I noticed a disclaimer in the description of it. No cancellations or refunds available except where required by law. And that kind of was like, wait a minute. Nobody would put like, nobody would put a disclaimer like that on something unless they were doing, not necessarily shady, but that's kind of what it feels like, right? It's like... We're sucking you into this, and now you're stuck, bitch! Nothing you can do about it! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, it feels kind of like that kind of thing. And so, but I looked up, like, before I did this, once I heard... So there's a demo. If you pre-order Central Fiction, you get access to a demo version of it, which is just an offline version of the game without, like, the newer characters. And You can't unlock Susanoo, you can't get S, obviously, because S is a DLC character. But everybody else is unlocked, all the changes have been applied, etc, etc. So you can sit in training mode, you can do arcade mode, that kind of stuff. And you can learn the new characters. Obviously, why would I not want to do that, right? Like, that's something that I was I was actually looking forward to. And so I looked up, uh, before I saw that disclaimer, I looked up PlayStation 4's pre-order policy. Is it possible to cancel it before? Because I don't want a digital version of the game. I've mentioned this before, I will always take a physical version over a digital version. There's other factors in there as well, but there's no reason to get into them. Suffice to say, I have it pre-ordered elsewhere already, but I'm not... Go so, I pre-ordered it, right? I'm getting the game. The spiteful side of me really wants to just cancel that and forget Blaze Blue ever existed. Because, so the way PlayStation 4 pre-orders work, you can select two different options. You can either pay for it up front, or you can usually select an option that just says pay later. So you have basically up to the release date to pay for the game and if you don't have the funds like in your wallet or if you don't have a payment method set up then it just kicks it out obviously you can't download it because you didn't pay for it and you know you move on with your life that is not a due to that disclaimer due to some switch whoever put this on PSN toggled you can't do that you can only buy it with money you have to pre-order it and you have to put money down on it which is like that's an incredibly dumb way of hand I will never pay for a product that I cannot have in my hands right then so like for instance you go to GameStop you have to put down a five dollar insurance policy on it but other than that you don't have to pay for the entire thing and you can get that five dollars back whenever the hell you want uh Amazon you pre-order anything you do not pay for it until it's confirmed shipping until it has been confirmed to be shipped to you until a physical version is on its way to you you don't pay a cent for it but PSN wants me to put down sixty dollars for this product that doesn't exist that I can't play yet and that I can't it forces me to be committed to it I cannot get a refund and so because of that obviously I'm not gonna get it right so like now be, even though again I have pre-ordered the game now I cannot get access to this demo the fuck like is it possible I'm legitimately curious at this point in time if it is even possible for Arc System Works to make a business decision that I don't find stupid. This demo should just be publicly available. There is no logical reason to lock this behind a pre-order. All that you are doing is ensuring the people who are going to pre-order this digitally already are going to still pre-order it digitally, and anybody that wants the physical version is now fucked, and there's nothing they can do about that. You are fucking over your own consumers while doing nothing to get new ones. It, it took two seconds for me to understand that. And yet the idiots that sat in a boardroom to make the decision to lock this behind the pre-order couldn't figure that shit out? It is, like, I'm legitimately sitting here, like I said, the spiteful side of me really wants to just say, fuck Blaze Blue, fuck Central Fiction, these people don't deserve my money, I'm out, I'm tapping out. I'll find something else to do with my life, right? Like, just, this is stupid. I cannot believe there's just no logic behind it. And I cannot remember 
it's it's incredibly frustrating. And like I had plans, stuff that I wanted to do with the demo, and now I can't because I have to choose a lesser version of the game and commit to that if I want to actually play the demo. And that is one of the dumbest things. <laughs> There's just nothing good I can say about it. And so like, I mean obviously, I have three weeks basically to get over myself, but <laughs> suffice to say, I'm unhappy. And this kind of soiled the mood. Like I said, I had I had some ideas for things to do, and I think they would have been well received. And now I can't do them. I mean, I can still do them with this version of the game, but Central Fiction's out. People have been importing it. Nobody really cares about. I mean, barely anybody cared about Chrono Phantasma from uh, to begin with. Right now, it's been out for so long. Many people have just gone back to Guilty Gear or other games that have come out in the meantime everybody's looking forward to central fiction that is a blaze blue fan nobody's looking for chrono phantasma extend shit but they would have been looking for central fiction shit but now i can't do it without again committing to an inferior version of the game in my mind like obviously that's a subjective thing everybody has their own preferences so kudos to you if you want the digital version congratulations on getting that demo if you're like me and you want a physical version, not to mention, you know, other factors like for us, so one of the big fact, the biggest factor, I have Amazon Prime. That's 15% off this game, this pre-order, for free, I mean, not for free, obviously I had to pay for Amazon Prime, but not even getting to all the other factors, all the other things Amazon offers, just for how many games I purchase, that 15% off per game essentially pays for itself using Amazon Prime. So why would I not take advantage of that? How stupid would that be? And so because of that, I get fucked over <laughs> by the publishers of this game. Why would you want to support that? And so that is why the spiteful side of me is just saying like, they're basically just giving me a massive middle finger. Why would I sit here and take that? For daring to pre-order the physical version instead of the digital version. Anyway, I'm going to stop bitching. I'm going to go find something else to do, because at this very moment, fuck everything Blaze Blue. That's ridiculous.